Hello, my friends. Welcome to the metal shop. Got a couple of uh, unboxings to do. We're gonna do one in this video. We'll do one in another, and I'm gonna I'll get more in depth about the uh, the guitars that are in there. But uh, the passing of Jeff Beck, one of my you know favorite guitar players, kind of hit me, and I wanted to. Um, I always liked the guitars he had in the 80s. I'm a big Jackson Charvel guy. I liked the Jacksons um, that he had back in the 80s. You guys are familiar. He had a he had a pink one, pink soloist and an orange soloist. And the SL, SL1X and SL3X, the Asian-made Jacksons, are, they did a very faithful job of recreating um, Jeff Beck's original guitars and also Steve Vai's original soloists. And So anyway, I wanted to pick a couple of those up. So... Um, the one, the cardboard colored box there, I actually picked up from Sweetwater and in full transparency, that one came inside a huge box in and of itself with tons of packing. Um, and all right, all good there. This one, and it took, I think I ordered over the weekend. It came on like a Thursday, three, four days. This one, I had a hard time finding it, actually came from Malaysia and it took seven days. I ordered it on uh, January the 19th, and it arrived on January the 26th. Amazing. But they did send it. It's just in that Jackson box, um, wrapped in this black plastic with fragile tape and how to stack and everything. It's a little bit padded, I guess, the the way they did it there. Um, so I have not, I've let this one acclimate for a couple days in my home, and we're going to open this one up together. I... <laughs> Fingers crossed that um, that Jackson headstock with the however many degree pitch back, which are known to snap, made it here safely in <laughs> this type of packaging here. Um, so we'll find out together. So let's see, I figured this out, which way this goes. Watch, I'll drop it and it'll snap. Um, yeah, let's not drop it. Let's be super careful. This is the back of the box. I'm going to get my uh, trusty Cutco knife. Viewers of my channel will know that I'm superstitious, and I like to use this. I think, is it is it shrink-wrapped over the black? I, I can't really tell what they did. But anyway, I'm going to cut into this, peel off this black, go from there. It's like the old shirt box kind of like you got your know, shirt when you were a kid you know you got the one box inside the other one so it's like a top i apologize no no cameraman for this no shop assistant here today just me and you let me see if we can't uh, get this one in there's a good amount of Black plastic and schmutz in there. This might take a little bit, but we'll get there. Good thing about the Cutco knife is it's it's got the combination of sharp and serrated. So you can do the good old sawing action there too. I was amazed at how fast this guitar got here from Malaysia. And I was, you know, a little cautious, a little nervous to buy a guitar from Malaysia. It was on reverb and they had excellent feedback. And everyone said that they had, you know, really fast shipping. And yeah, they certainly did. So. No, no complaints really, but let's see how we did. FedEx brought it, and I should mention that FedEx did a, did me a real solid. I wasn't home, left the garage open for him. FedEx driver called me, and he agreed to leave it off, even though it was signature required. I have a good relationship with my FedEx guy and my UPS guy, <laughs> of course. So let's see. Let's do this. And so like I said, so like the old shirt box, just opens up like so. All right, the bar is loose. Not at all. Well, it's stuck in there. It was 
should have been in this uh, bag here. I don't know if they put it there, if it worked, wormed its way loose. They added this packing here. I don't believe that's factory. It's funny because these guitars, you know, the X-Series guitars are made in Malaysia. You know, kind of sort of hop, skip, and a jump from Indonesia. And so far, we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. That feels... That feels pretty good and solid in there. Yeah, they... I've gotten guitars shipped like this before from Jackson's. That uh, Adrian Smith guitar over there. Doesn't come with a bubble wrap around it. Doesn't come with that foam. It's just like that thin shroud in the box. So they've... in there, there's another thing of padding in there. That they did. This just didn't come with. Here's some extra tape. But the all important headstock there looks. Let me get some scissors out. Do you say get a scissors or a pair of scissors? That drives me nuts. It's like it's a pair of scissors. <laughs> There's two of them. They're joined together, but it's a pair of scissors. Let me try that. What I don't want to do is, while I'm you know, doing the old one hand for, for you guys here, I don't want to cut into the guitar. And they've put a lot of uh, tape. And you know how it sticks to that stupid bubble wrap. Oopsie, that's what you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear your straight cut to a knife. It's hitting the, hitting the metal. Hope that they, I wonder if they slacked it. It doesn't really sound like they slacked off the strings. I think we're in. This is nice. Yeah, look at that. Our headstock is intact. Amazing. Nothing short of amazing. Seven days from Malaysia. It was pretty funny to watch the tracking. Uh, one stop in Kuala Lumpur. And then, uh, then we went to uh, a couple stops in China. And then right to... Uh, I'm not going to tell you where it was, but it was, uh, you know, two stops in China and then right to a New England state. And I had it within a couple of days. The color is, it's a little bit brighter and more vibrant than I thought. Okay, we have, we got a broken string. Not even a broken string. It popped out of the, uh, the Floyd Rose here, but that's not a big deal. I mean, the guitar should... Probably have new strings anyway. Oh, check our switch tip. That didn't get jammed. That's in good shape. Knobs are working. That still has the plastic on it. I can see. Dark, nice dark rosewood board. And that was the key um, with the uh, the Jeff Beck and the uh, Steve Vai soloist is that they had the customs with the binding, but with the dots. So, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, so there's the unboxing, anyway, of the, the Jeff Beck soloist from Malaysia. We'll give a pause here, and I'm gonna put the thing up on the guitar stand, and we'll have a little bit, uh, a little bit more in-depth look at the guitar. Cool. All right, so, here she is. I'll just go over some quick thoughts, some of my quick first thoughts. Um, really nice 80s size, huge logo. Obviously no Made in USA, either off to the front here underneath because this is an Asian-made guitar. Um, the tuners, I did reattach the, uh, the G-string there that had come off, and they felt a little crunchy to me. They're just a, they're just a little stiff. I believe 
that these tuners are the same on the USA. These are the Jackson um, Goto tuners. And it's not, they're not, it's not crucial when you have, when you have a locking, um, locking tremolo system. The, obviously the tuners are just used for, you know, making really gross, large adjustments. If this were, um, you know, a tunematic type of bridge or a string through, something of that nature, you'd want the best tuners, you know, money could buy here because you're doing all your tuning up there anyway. Not really huge. I will say, you know, again, again first thoughts here, the, the binding is very stark white. It's very, very bright. <laughs> um, where USA Jackson is more like a cream, they call it Ivoroid, um, where it's just a little... A little more a little more subtle but it works on this guitar and I'm not sure I don't believe this is the same color as Jeff Beck's I believe his was a much uh, a darker orange than this um, I, I scoured this guitar looking for any kind of nicks or dings or any marks or anything and I honestly found nothing there was you know there was nothing at all um the fret ends are they're very nice uh it's got good action i mean we'll do a demonstration video at some point uh duncan designed pickups you know where are you saving money on these guitars and it's there you know the duncan designed pickups you can't buy them new they're only sold to manufacturers to the best of my knowledge i checked they're never going to be as good as a Duncan pickup. They use cheaper materials. Um, they're not going to sound as good as they just aren't. It's just the way that it is. Um, but I'd say, you know, approximately half price. Floyd Rose Special, about $100 versus, you know, $240 for Floyd. Okay, I did find one thing. And here, look at this. This is weird. It's almost like there's no finish, no black finish. It's not dust. It doesn't come off. It's not dirt. It's just like... <laughs> It didn't get the paint or the anodizing or whatever on that section of the knob. That's the one thing I found is pretty weird. And these are like a press-on knob. They don't, a Jackson knob is a little beefier, a little more substantial with a set screw. Uh, they don't have that. Um, everything else really looks, you know, it really looks to be in good order. This is a nice, a very nice guitar. Um, 850 range $850 range in price um, even factoring in the shipping from Malaysia oh I didn't like I don't know if we'll be able to see this here I'll have to hold it up the input jack you see how it's kind of got that little that dimple that screams an imported guitar it's not the the thick goto uh, football plate that would come on a USA Jackson um, the back cavities are the same shape, I believe. Jackson's gone to three screws on their electronics cavity. This one has four. The Jackson uses the really nice brushed aluminum plates, and these are plastic. And of course, you get all this nonsense over here. You know, I like how it says Jackson and then the serial number and crafted in Indonesia. But it's it's kind of cool. You know, they're putting it under the clear. It's not a sticker. It's not anything. They want you to, you know. Soloist back shape, really thin, really, really nice cutaway, lots of access to the frets. Again, the rosewood fingerboard is really super nice and dark. Um, you know, it could still be conditioned to be even darker. The original guitars were, and of course we're upside down, the original guitars were ebony. Steve Vai's, Jeff Beck's guitars had, had ebony boards, and of course he had this p base style uh pick guard here or and they did this later after jeff beck on the charvel i think it was called a spectrum but that's really what this reminds me of is the charvels from japan in the 80s the late 80s that's you know the stark white binding the fit the finish the, the build quality that's what it reminds me of it's not usa jackson but it's pretty darn close so Anyway, my friends, thanks for sticking with me for this unboxing of my uh, Jackson. That's an SL3X. 
with the neon orange finish, probably a tad brighter than Jeff Beck's. That awesome pick guard. Three Duncan design pickups. Have plans for this. May include a real Floyd, may include some real Duncans, uh, may include some those push on, those pots, like I said, with no set screw. I'm sure those are pushed on over um, really substandard quality uh, potentiometers, not the good uh, CTS pots that a Jackson would come with, probably the switch as well. And there's your difference in sound right there. Real Floyd, real Duncans, real CTS pots, real switchcraft stuff, and I think this thing will be every bit as good as a USA Jackson soloist for, you know, a third of the money. All right, my friends, as always, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Give me a thumbs up. Um, click that like button. Please hit subscribe. Consider subscribing. Tell your friends. If you're so inclined, your guitar playing buddies about my channel. Lots of good stuff on here. And I truly, truly do appreciate your support. All right, my friends, take care. Rock on. Do a little clean, a little dirty tones within the same song. I did have to lower the middle pickup. It was right in the way, so full disclosure.